Here's your Storm Track 7 forecast. Good Tuesday morning. I'm Storm Track 7 meteorologist Brandon Libby. We have a really nice day ahead of us, but the next few days will be dominated by some cloud cover that's going to try to move in and out. We have a lot of sunshine out there this morning, although a little bit of haze. We'll talk about that haze in a second. Clouds will increase as we go into the afternoon, so skies eventually become mostly cloudy. We'll certainly see that for tonight. Now the air is very dry. We have high pressure in control, and as some rain showers try to move in from the northwest, they're really going to struggle to work their way in. But eventually we could see some saturation and maybe some light rain showers reaching the ground, especially in our western and northwestern counties. That's going to be uh, the best chance for that tonight into tomorrow morning. It's not going to be a lot of rain. Shouldn't be any more than a tenth of an inch across those areas. And then as we go into tomorrow afternoon, clouds will decrease yet again before they increase as we go back into the day on Thursday, although no rain is expected on Thursday. Uh, we'll have a chance though for rain on Friday into Saturday. Now as far as the haze is concerned, we haven't had terrible air quality this morning, but it certainly has been hazy. And that haze is going to get pushed out a little bit by more of a light east wind. So we should see some improvement with that as we go into tonight and especially tomorrow. It's not looking as bad. As far as the dew points and humidity levels are concerned, still feeling very comfortable here over the next few days, but a definite trend upwards as you go into the weekend, looking at dew points upper 60s on Saturday, getting back to that humid category, and we have even worse uh, humidity levels on the way for Sunday and Monday and much more heat too. We'll take a look at that in your 10 day forecast. But for today, we're in the mid to upper 70s, slightly below normal as the clouds increase this afternoon. We have that east wind as well. And then for tonight, down to the mid and upper 50s, even with the mostly cloudy skies, still looking a little bit cool out there for tonight and tomorrow morning. 70s on the way as we're in and out of the clouds for Wednesday and Thursday. And then as we start to get back into Friday, it looks like highs are back to near 80. Again, a 20% chance for some showers and then maybe some isolated showers and storms into Saturday. That's as the warm front will come through. And so highs jump up to about 87 to kick off the weekend. To close the weekend, they're into the low 90s, which is where we start next week. And with the dew points getting back uh, most likely into the 70s, we're talking triple digit heat indices, of course, just as school is getting back into session. But then a cold front will bring some rain chances on Tuesday, and that should eventually cool things back down to near normal by the middle of next week.